Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm here with a review today. Um, as y'all know, it's one of the last videos I did. I got a Mother's Day, late Mother's Day gift. And I got this Luz Laser Light Speed Spin. And I, before that, I was not used to the spin rules. I did not know how to, like, I couldn't do it. I was used to those ones where you press the button and you just kind of went with it. Um, so it was new to me to get one of these. But I got the Zepco first. And at first the rod broke after like a two pound fish. So then we used the reel on another rod and that reel broke, like messed up too. So we were like, what do we get? So he got me for the late Mother's Day gift, this laser light speed spin from Liz. And I loved it. Um, it took me a while to like actually like use it. It was a little hard for me at first cause I don't know how to, I didn't know how to do those. But after a while I got really good at it. Um, at first I was like swinging it like really fast and he's like, no, just point it and throw it, you know, do that. And so I got a little bit better at it. And then, um, before that though, he wanted to get me something that would kind of make me a little bit better with like the push thing. So nobody couldn't find anywhere and he didn't, I really didn't know what he was talking about. So I was like, okay, we were walking through a store one time, um, two days ago and he found the one that he had been looking for and everyone loves it. The reviews are like crazy good on these. Like for starting out before you go to this one, that's what he was looking for, but we couldn't find it anywhere. So he was like, well, I guess you'll get this one. And then if I find one, we'll get the other one. Finally, one of them came in as we were walking by, there was only one left and I wanted to do a review on it. However, this is loose too and it is amazing. I still love this one. I just got used to the spoil. Uh, like the spin rod thing I think that's what it's called spin rod so I got used to it and finally started using it and I got used to it and then we found this one so I was wanting to do a review on that one this one's still really good this is the IM6 and it is the laser light speed spin from Liz and then I got this one this is called the trigger one um, I've got the thing right here let me put this down I got this what it is is you hold it like this and you push this to hold it down as you release it instead of the button in the front for like regular ones and you reel it in it's kind of pretty much like that but a little bit easier this is a speed cast speed stick and it's supposed to be a mini it's the im6 but it is a lot longer as you can tell a lot longer than that one there but they are both amazing so when i got it obviously i told you last time in my video you get a bonus with lose the last time it could be a shirt it could be um, a, t a hat, it could be anything, but then the bottom you just go to lose.com and you can get like a free something in the mail anytime you buy one of these. So with this speed cast underspan, it's a graphite combo. So it's two bearing system, aluminum cone, dual pickup pins, graphite handle with combat grip paddle knob right down here. And then speed loop for exceptional smoothness, adjustable for right or left hand retrieve, just like that one. And it's premium IM6 graphite blank. Graphite skeletal seat with cushion stainless steel hood, EVA split grip handle, and stainless steel guides with stainless steel inserts. So this is actually amazing. I love it. It's just like the press one at the top, like the Zepco one was. I'm not saying anything bad about Zepco because I've actually bought them before, but these lose are like pretty much unbreakable pretty much. These are made really, really nice. So it wasn't really a review on either, which one I would use. Obviously, this one's a little bit easier because I could just hold this to cast it and let go, but it will go far, and so will this one. But this one's just a little bit easier if you want to start out with it before you go to the spin reel. And so, with both of these, either both lose, and I just wanted to show you all, like, I'm getting a collection of these already. Like, I love them, and every time we go to the store, I'm, like, looking around at, like, the new stuff. But these speed sticks, like, this is a laser light speed stick. This is the um, laser light speed stick is this one. This one's the speed cast speed stick. So it's called a mini, but obviously it's not a mini. Cause if you look, if I go back a little bit, this one's a lot smaller than this one. And so I don't, I like them both. I love them. So anything lose is amazing. So both of them, I just wanted to show you all like starting out with these, like I was saying the press button ones for like beginners maybe. But if you want to start like before you go to the spin reel, like the reels are here, I would use this one because this one's like really, really awesome. It's easy to use, easy to cast. It's a, it's just to begin before you go to this one. Um, and as I said, it was like the spin reel. 
I'm getting better at it, thank God. Um, I just didn't go fishing a lot, and now it's like an everyday thing for me. Like, all I want to do is go fishing. We have caught quite a fish. As soon as I got this, I started catching fish like the first cast I got fish. Like, it was ridiculous. I'm not saying it's just because of pole. I mean, it does go with the weather, but I'm just saying. But um, Lou's is the best. And like I said, this one is called, the new one, it's called an underspin. So, and what it's called, it's called the trigger. So you hold it back before you cast it and let go, like just like the button. But it kind of gets you set up to do the reel in. So I thought that was pretty cool. I just wanted to show you all that this is the one I was trying to get in the beginning. Finally got used to the reel, the spinning reel, and then I got that one. So I'm in love with both of them. So I kind of take them both with me now. But I uh, just want to give you all a review on them. They are amazing. And as you can tell, my bait, we always use these when we go to the creek or something like that. We have some great spots that we go to. Um, just for me to practice until I get really good at it so um, I just want to let y'all know and uh, I will find something else that we can do uh, maybe metal detecting next time I was thinking about going to some homesteads and do some metal detecting we have about three or four there are some grave sites at the ones that we have around here so I was thinking if you all would like to leave a comment on what you all would want to see next I would love to know I am starting the pond. We did put some minnows and stuff in there. Um, we did do a lot on that on the pond. I'll show you like the renovation of what we did. Uh, we do have some like flowers growing. We decorated it a little bit. So I do want to show you all a video on that next. I did put some lights around it. We are going to make a new bridge for it. We have a lot to do. So we did put a hammock up as well. So it's going to start looking better. We just, like I said last time in the video the last video i had no clue about the lily pod so now we do know so we've got to get that ready and put those in but i think that out of all the fish that we got two died and so we are doing good because we put a lot in there so hopefully this will work so thank you all have a good day and if you all want to leave a comment on what you all want to see next us fishing again or anything like that like going camping anything like that i don't I want to know in the comments of what you all want to see. So let me know down below. And hopefully Lou sponsors us soon. So I don't have to buy all these rods and reels. So I can just show you how awesome they are. So I'll see you all later. Have a good one. Bye.